guys, for today's video we'll be costuming our LOL dolls into the main characters of Toy Story 3. The first transformation is going to be Buzz Lightyear. We'll begin by cutting all the hair bones from our doll's head. Now we're using clay to cover all the original hair of our doll. We're going to extend the clay over the head to even out this part and we'll stick one model to make it smooth. This will be his purple head cap. We'll use more clay but now to model his spacesuit. We're covering the legs of our doll till the line that we previously marked with a pencil, because that's where the boots will go. We're extending the clay all the way to the back of the legs of our doll and then we'll form the shape of the pants using a modeling stick for the details. We added more clay to model the top part of his face and it's almost finished. Now with a small ball of clay we're covering the little wrist of our doll to form the cuffs. And we're done modeling the space suit of Buzz. Now we're going to use these elbow boots for him. These little boots are going to be perfect for Buzz. We waited for the clay to dry and now we're applying white all over his face suit. We'll leave it to dry too and then we'll paint the rest of the details of his suit with green and purple. Next, with this dark purple color we're painting all the head cap above. We will also paint an area on his chest and on the soles of his shoes. With a cotton swab and nail polish remover, we're erasing from the face of our doll all the little details that make her look like a girl. We're using a very thin brush to paint all the parts of the space of the bust that are going to be green. We're using this super bright shade of green for this step. Now with black paint, we're drawing a line around the waist to simulate the belt. And then we draw two very thin lines with white over the back. You can see here that we already painted all the little buttons that Boss has on his spacesuit. And now for the final step of the transformation, we're changing the eye color of our LL doll from brown to blue. And we're done costuming our LL doll into Boss Lightyear. He looks super cool, don't you think? I think we did a great job modeling and painting his spacesuit. It looks awesome. For the sake of information, we're going to turn this LOL doll into Jessie from Toy Story 3. We'll start by cutting the little pigtails of our LOL doll with these scissors so we can begin modeling the hair. We're putting clay on top of the head of our doll and with our fingers and also with the help of a stick we're extending the clay all over the hair of our aerial doll and then we'll start modeling the hair of Jesse using the stick to work on the details too. For the outfit of Jesse we picked this oil accessory that we're going to use as base to work on the rest of the clothes. Right now we're using a little bit of clay and we're covering the low part of the arm of the doll to form the cuffs of Jesse's shirt. Once we finish modeling the cuffs of Jesse's shirt, we're going to use more clay too from the chaps of her pants. We're adding the clay only in the front part of the legs of our doll and now with a modeling stick we're forming the shape of the chaps. form three little rolls with foam and we stick them together in one of the ends. Now we're forming with these three rolls the braid of Jessie. We're just doing a regular braid for hair and when we finish modeling it, we're going to paste it on the back of the head. Once the clay on the pants is dry, we're going to begin painting. We're using white to paint her pants and the chaps and also with white we're going to paint the area of her shirt, including the arms of her doll, to simulate the long sleeves of the shirt. 
With this dark shade of blue, we're going to paint the top part of the pants of Jessie to simulate the tanning of her jeans. We're not painting the part below the line that we mark on the clay for the chaps, but we don't need to paint the back part of the legs of the doll with the same denim color for her jeans. Now we're using dark brown color to paint the little cargo boots of Jessie. We're being very careful to not to stain with this color the white chaps. With a very fine brush we're going to paint the top part of Jessie's shirt. As you know, the shirt she wears is yellow on the top and white on the bottom. We'll also paint with this bright yellow color the cuffs of her shirt. We decided not to model her belt and instead we're going to paint directly on the clothes. We're using a very dark brown color to draw a strip around her waist to create Jessie's belt. Jessie is a redhead, so once the clay on her hair is completely dry, we can start painting. We're using this reddish color to paint all the hair of our doll. Our doll has beautiful skin tone, but we need to change it so it can match with the skin of Jessie. We're using a pinkish light green color to paint the face and the hands of our doll. We'll probably have to apply two coats of paint. Now for the chaps of the pants of Jessie, we're using black paint to draw all over the white chaps cow spots. We finished painting the animal print design on her chaps, and now with a very thin brush we're drawing the buckle over her brown belt. We paint in a small circle and we color it with golden color. Also with a very thin brush, we're using red paint to draw on the yellow area of the shirt of Jessie, a design. To finish with Jessie's transformation, we work on her eyes. We're changing the eye color of our doll from blue to light green, so they match with Jessie's eye color and we'll also retouch the white and black areas of the eyes of our doll. This LL hat that's going to work perfect for her. We're just using white paint to draw the little seams of the hat. Ta da! Here she is, our favorite car girl Jessie. She looks so beautiful. Look at the little yellow bows we made for her braid. She looks so cute. The next transformation is going to be lots of. We picked this other surprise doll especially for him because the hairstyle is going to be useful to do the ears of Lotso. The first thing we're going to do for this third transformation is covering all the body of our elbow doll with clay so we can create the super furry texture of Lotso's body. We began by covering with clay all the original hair of our doll. Now before the clay dries, we're going to use this modeling tool to create the plush of Lotso. We decided not to cover the face of our doll so it can look like she's wearing a lot of costumes. We form a little ball of clay and we're putting it on the nose of our LL doll. With a modeling stick, we'll form the shape of the nose of Love Soap. And we'll let it dry to glue it later. Now we're using a big chunk of clay to wrap the body of our LL doll. We're covering her body completely with clay and little by little we're going to begin modeling the body of Lotso using a stick. Then, we're going to add the plush or hair texture with a modeling tool. With this beige or green color, we're painting this area around the mouth of our dog. This will be to simulate the snout of Lotso, and then we can paint his nose. It's time to paint. With this very special shade of pink, we're going to paint almost all the body of Lotso. We'll leave only without painting a little secret area on the ears and a U area on the chest and stomach. Next, with the same green color or beige color we used to paint the snout, we're going to paint the ears and the stomach of Lotso. The final step for this transformation will be painting the nose. We're using a dark malva color for this. Here she is, 
Our Ellen surprise doll looks super cute with her lots of the bear costume on. She looks super horrible and adorable as him. Well, hello there. I thought I heard new voices. Welcome to Sunnyside, folks. For the final transformation of today's video, we're going to use this Ellen doll and we're going to turn her into Goody. We'll begin by modeling the head of Goody. We're using a big chunk of foam to cover the hair of our doll and little by little we're going to form the shape of the cowboy hat. We're modeling this ball of foam into a tiny roll and then we're going to form the bandana Goody wears around his neck. Now with a little bit more of foam we'll keep modeling another part of the bandana. We're going to glue this to the other part once they're dry. Our doll is wearing this cellulite shirt that we'll use as base to work on the top part of the clothes of Goody. We're using white now to cover the blue of the vest and to use as base color so then we can paint the animal print design he has on his vest. For the pants of Goody we're going to use these cellulite shorts and we're painting them white to use as base color. We'll also paint the legs of our doll to even out the colors. Goody wears jeans, so now we're going to paint directly on the legs of our dolls with this shade of blue to simulate the jeans of Goody. We're going to use the cellulite boots to be the cowboy boots of Goody. We only need to paint them with dark brown color. On the back of the head of our doll, we can still see a part of her original hair. To correct that thing, we're going to use air dry clay to cover all these parts. And then with a modeling stick, we're going to finish extending the clay and we'll smooth it to make this part of Goody's hair. We created this shade of brown by mixing dark brown color with red color. Now we're going to paint the hat we modeled with foam for Goody. After painting Goody's cowboy hat, we're going to use dark brown color to paint the hair that sticks out of his hat. We're using this mustard yellow color to paint Goody's shirt. We're painting on the elbow accessory to cover the animal print design and we'll also paint the arms of the doll to simulate the sleeves of the shirt. Now with a very thin brush we're going to use black color to paint the cow design he has on his vest. We're drawing little black spots all over the vest. With a cotton swab and nail polish remover, we're going to erase from the doll's face all the little details that make her look like a girl. The eyelashes, the lipstick and the blush. Goody has brown eyes, so then, using a thin brush, we're going to paint with brown over the blue of the eyes. With a bit more of clay, we're going to model a holster and we'll attach this to his belt. The bandana that we previously modeled with foam is dry, so now we just need to paint it with bright red color. Now with a very thin brush, we're going to paint vertical and horizontal lines over the yellow color to create the square design Goody's has on her shirt. Adorable or a little surprise doll look costume as Goody from Toy Story. All his outfit turned out great. Look at his little cow vest. Goody is an amazing character. We love him. Ready guys, this is how dear LL dolls look after we turn them into these amazing characters from Toy Story 3. They look incredible. Here on the right we have lots of. Then, next to him is Jesse. Then we have Goody and finally Buzz Lightyear. Let us know in the comment section below if you like these transformations and what was your favorite character from today's video. Remember to give us a big like and ring the bell for notifications of our next videos and share the video with all your friends. See you in our next video here in Toy Transformations. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye!